Welcome back everyone to the Morales YouTube channel. My name is Philip and in this video, I want to share the dev tools that you need as a BAMP developer or smart contract developer in 2021. Maybe you are developing on Ethereum or you're developing on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, all of these would uh, apply to you. And this video will cover a lot. It will cover all the way from the most basic tools that you need for basic dApps and the tools that you need for professional dApp development uh, when you're actually building a real complex decentralized application. And we'll cover a lot, and I think a lot of you will find it helpful regardless of where you are in these categories. Um, before we start, I just want to encourage you to uh, like this video if you enjoy it, and also subscribe to the channel, to the Morales channel, if you enjoy this type of content. On the channel, we have all types of Ethereum content, DAP content, programming content, and Morales content. So uh, check out other videos after this one if you're interested. And with that said, let's get into the actual content. If you're just starting out developing your first smart contract uh, and you don't really have a DAP in the sense that you have a website or any sort of application, you just have your smart contract, then uh, you can start using Remix if you're a beginner. So Remix, it's this online editor uh, or online development environment that uh, you can use uh, to build simple smart contracts, to deploy smart contracts, and to test them um, in a very nice user interface. And uh, you can find Remix at remix.ethereum.org. And as I said, it's a very good tool if you're starting out. It has its limitations in the sense that when you grow out of it with too many contact contracts uh, that interact with each other or interact with external contracts, uh, or when you just have too long contracts, too complex contracts in general, then Remix is not optimal because it's a hassle to test if you have a large contract suite that requires a lot of setup. But if you have a simple smart contract, you're just playing around, you're testing things, then Remix is very fast because you can deploy and test contracts both in a virtual machine, both on the testnet and mainnet, and with a nice visual interface where you can just click around. You don't have to use any terminal. So it's very simple. I would recommend that if you're starting out as a Solidity developer, if you're just learning Solidity. But once you have outgrown from Remix, you want to get your own development environment locally, meaning that you need an editor to edit your code. You can use Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime Text, whatever is trendy these days. Uh, and uh, you need a development framework made for Ethereum and Ethereum smart contracts. And the two most popular there are Truffle and Hardhat. And I made videos about those two uh, on this channel, so you can check that out, uh, comparing them and which one you should choose. And then you also need an Ethereum node in order to deploy your smart contract. And if you're on the testnet, you need a testnet node. If you're on the mainnet, you need a mainnet node. And I might be saying, Philip, I've deployed contracts all the time and I've never had an Ethereum node. Okay, so most people would use someone else's Ethereum node and they would um, and they would either pay for it or use some sort of free plan to access those nodes. For example, Infura will let you use their Ethereum nodes because they their business is to host Ethereum nodes. And you can use their free plans to get limited access to the nodes or you can pay a monthly fee in order to get a lot more access to them. And most people do this way. 99% of developers that I've seen, they just use Infura. But either way, you do need an Ethereum node in order to get your contract out to the blockchain, okay? Now, if you're actually building a dApp, meaning you have some sort of application interface, a website front end, or an app, some way that you interact with this smart contract or with the blockchain in some way, then you also need um, you need a few more things. You still need the editor, dev framework, or an Ethereum node, but you now also need a JavaScript Ethereum API for the front end, and that is tools like web3.js or ethers.js. Those tools will let your website communicate with the blockchain. So if you have deployed smart contracts with the blockchain, you need your website to be able to communicate with those, so you use a JavaScript Ethereum API. And you can use those to request signatures for transactions, to send, sing to send transactions. You can use them in order to get data, uh, you know, call functions in smart contracts, get data back. Uh, you can use them to subscribe to events. You can, uh, yeah, you can do a lot of things, get uh, the Ethereum balance of the current user, those kinds of things. 
Uh, and uh, you also need a local web server to develop your website. And this is nothing unique for Ethereum development. If you're developing a website in general, you need the local web server in order to test it uh, so that you don't have to put it out on the internet just to test it. And here there are many options, but some of the most popular, popular ones are maybe the uh, Python web servers that are included in, in the Python libraries or as a Python library. And um, there are also a lot of plugins for some editors like Visual Studio Code, you can use plugins. I know I'm using someone that's called uh, Live Server, I think, which will just um, let you very easily host the web server to open up HTML files, but as an actual, uh, with an actual web server, not just render the file, which you do need. And then if you want to actually deploy your smart contract and publish your DAP, you need some static web hosting, meaning that you need some way to take the content that you've been developing and hosting locally and make it available to the world. You need to host it on the server with a domain so that anyone can access it, just like any other website. And then you need some sort of web server that is publicly available. And usually you don't use your own computer or your own server because you leave that open to vulnerabilities. Instead, you want to use some sort of host or provider that does that for you. It's just more convenient more secure for most people, even though there are a lot of people that can set that up correctly, but for most people, it's safer, it's easier, it's faster. So find some sort of static web hosting provider. And now the final category that we have is that if you're developing what I call here a full DAP, meaning a DAP where you need access to the full power of the blockchain. You need uh, aggregated data, you need token data, maybe NFT data, transaction data, um, and you need history, you need large, uh, large amount of uh, data history. Uh, so let's say you're building a marketplace, you need access to token data, or let's say you're building an ether scan clone, you need large amounts of transaction data and event data and balance data, or let's say you're building um, a wallet tracker, a portfolio tracker, um, like Zirion, then you also need uh, these kinds of tools, anything where you need lots of data, aggregated data, token data, or user data for that matter. Then you still need all of the above, editor, dev framework, Ethereum node, JavaScript, ETH, Ethereum API, local web server, static web host, but you also need an Ethereum backend API. And what is this? Well, what I mean by this is you need um, someone to have indexed the blockchain and provide an API for you to quickly query things like, what tokens does this user own? So you get an address, your DAP will get an address from MetaMask into your website, and you want to render, okay, all of the tokens that this person owns. Then you need to have indexed the blockchain before, and you need to have saved that data in a nice way, and exposed that in an API so that you can ask for a specific address what tokens they have. And uh, uh, most people don't do this themselves because they need to host their own Ethereum node, they need to index it, they need a lot of databases and so on. So they usually pay for something, uh, some sort of server, server that does it. Um, there are some that will do it for you, Covalent, uh, the Graph, or some of these that will do that for you. Uh, but you do need that. And then you probably also need user authentication. So you want people to be able to sign in with MetaMask, uh, or you want people to have options, right? Sign in with email or with MetaMask. And you want to be able to save user data. Maybe, you know, if you're building a portfolio tracker, not only do you need the token ownership data from the blockchain, you also maybe need to save price data from the user. So they will upload a file and they will, um, and they will, or they will input what type of price they paid for a specific asset at what time. You need to save that somewhere. So you need a user database. And that I didn't even put here, just with user authentication. Uh, but you also need a full backend. Uh, in this case, because you need to be able to do calculations on the back end and you need to be able to uh, provide some sort of wrapper for this Ethereum backend API that you just subscribed to. Uh, so, since you've paid for that, you don't want to expose that in your DAP. Maybe you want your back end to be an intermediary there, or you just need it to calculate things about your user, their, um, their token, their price, whatever it might be. Um, you probably need a full back end. And that, most likely, you're paying someone to host that as well, like AWS or Azure, uh, whatever you want. You can host it yourself, but almost no one does these days. Um, 
So that's about it. And this may sound complex, and in some way it is complex, right? Because these are not only a lot of different things that you need, but there are a lot of uh, services that you need to subscribe to and purchase and set up and integrate with if you need all of this uh, for your DAP. And if you're serious about building DAPs and something that is actually uh, providing a real use case and taking things to the next level, then you probably need all of these things. The good thing is that at Morales, we've really innovated and provided you with a simple one-click solution to get all of this, as, at least the, the difficult stuff. So if you use Morales, which currently is free, by the way, uh, which is crazy, uh, at least when I'm recording this, we will give you a way to statically host your website. You can upload all your files and we will host your website for you. You get a full Ethereum backend API in order to query things about what type of tokens your user owns uh, from our indexed blockchain, uh, from, our, from our indexed nodes, and you get um, info about NFTs, about transactions, about events, all of that stuff. We help you with user authentication and user database, uh, so you can save whatever data that you want about your user. You get also a full backend to be able to write functions, that you might need in order to calculate things about, as I said, price, history, whatever it might be. Uh, so we really have all the, that you need. And one thing that I didn't even add here is uh, IPFS. If you want to host files, but in a decentralized way, you need an IPFS gateway. And once again, you can host it yourself, or you can pay for a provider to host it for you. Um, but you get that with Morales. We also give you IPFS uh, storage. So you can store uh, data in a decentralized way. So that's pretty cool. And all of this you get just by signing up for Morales. You can start get started with one click, start your Morales instance, and you're good to go. And we have plenty of tutorials on this channel if you want to learn how it works and how you use it. You can check out our docs. You can check out our website. Uh, but I would encourage you to join the Morales beta. Sign up for an account. It's free. As I said, you get all of this for free. I mean, what are you waiting for? Uh, if you're serious about DAP development, if you're just starting out building some smart contracts, you can check it out, but you probably won't need it, need it until later on in your career. But if you're serious about building serious DAPs, then you really need Morales. So check it out. And once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, do that. Uh, check out more videos on the channel. We have so much. And I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, you can leave them down in the description. Sorry, not down in the description, but down in the comment section. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, not only in the Morales beta, but also in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.